Close your eyes and watch your breath. When you're doing a short meditation like this, it's good to get right to the breath, because you have so little time. So get right to the breath. Any other thoughts at all, you're not going to entertain them. Stay right here with the breath, coming in, going out. Try to be as snugly with the breath as you can. Because you look at life, and we don't know how much time we have either. So it's good to get straight to work, the work that needs to be done, cleaning up our minds. And so there's no time to sniff the flowers, watch the birds. You focus right here, because this is where the work needs to be done. Get your mind gathered around the breath, and then you can see the mind clearly for what's going on. You can see its intentions, how they arise. And you can see how you don't have to go with them. Something comes up in the mind, and it's like just one member of the committee suggests something. And all too often we identify with that voice, because all the voices in the committee are different, different versions of us. And that voice says, okay, let's do this, and you run with it. Then after a while you realize, well, that wasn't in my best interest. Well, that was the wrong voice to listen to. There are other voices in the mind. And you can see this clearly when you've settled down with the breath. And you stay right here. There's work to be done. When the Buddha talks about being in the present moment, it's always in the context that there's work to be done, and you don't know how much, how much time you have, but you do know that you have right now. So right now is a good time to do the work. Once we're born into this world, we're facing aging, illness, and death down the line. We usually don't like to think about it, but it's there. So we've got to prepare. And in preparing, it's not like we're being pessimistic or sad. It's just being realistic. Right? These are the dangers down the line, and they can be prepared for. There is something you can do about them. It's like when you go to a doctor, and the doctor says, where does it hurt? You're not accusing the doctor of being pessimistic, because that's the doctor's job, is to figure out how to end the hurt. What's the Buddha's job? And that's your job right here. Where is the pain in the mind right now? Well, what are you doing to add to the pain? What can you do to stop that? So we're in the present moment because this is where the work has to be done. And if it's not done now, well, which now are you going to use? The habit develops that you get a little bit lazy about the meditation, or you get a little bit lazy about the practice, and then that laziness just feeds on itself. You look at the Buddha's explanations for the different reasons that people give for being lazy. And objectively, they're the same conditions that other people say, these are the reasons I've got to be more energetic. It's simply a matter of attitude. So make sure that you develop the right attitude and the right habits. You get right down to work, and it's pleasant work. On the one hand, you're breathing in a way that feels good, and on the other hand, you're looking into your mind and seeing ways that you can free yourself from your old bad habits. It's all good work to be done. So right now is the time to do it.